Meta has unveiled Llama 3.3, their latest multilingual large language model. It boasts just 70 billion parameters, significantly less than its predecessor, Llama 3.1, which had a massive 405 billion parameters. Despite the dramatic reduction in size, Llama 3.3 delivers nearly the same performance, making it far more efficient. This efficiency translates to lower costs, reduced GPU demands, and the ability to power everything from everyday AI tools to immersive virtual reality experiences. Mark Zuckerberg announced that Llama is now the most widely adopted AI model globally with over 650 million downloads. This adoption highlights Meta's push for open source development, encouraging developers to build their own platform. While open source may seem like Meta is giving away its tech, it positions the company as a critical foundation for countless AI projects, potentially giving it a significant market influence over time. Meta is also heavily investing in virtual reality aiming to set industry standards. By leading in both AI and VR, they are shaping the future of digital connectivity, including their vision of the metaverse. Partnerships with third parties further embedded Meta's tools into the evolving digital landscape. On the infrastructure side, Meta plans to build a new AI data center in Louisiana and launch an undersea cabling project to support its initiatives. With approximately 600 million monthly active AI users and over 3 billion users across apps like Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, and WhatsApp, Meta is integrating its AI assistant into its entire ecosystem, reinforcing its roles in the future of digital interaction. Meta is encouraging users to explore its AI-powered features like image generation and virtual assistance, but it raises a question. How meaningful is this usage if it's not rather than voluntary? While these tools let users create images or ask questions, they don't yet feel indispensable for many. However, the potential impact may become clearer as VR and related technologies gain traction. Meta's broader strategy integrating AI, VR, wearables, and infrastructure like undersea cables suggests these are building blocks for a larger vision. On the technical side, Llama 3.3 offers significant advancements. It's open source, multilingual, and support languages like English, German, French, Spanish, and Thai. The model was trained on an enormous data set of 15 trillion tokens, a massive leap from Llama 2s and 2 trillion tokens. This expanded training improves performance in an areas like reasoning, coding, STEM problem solving, and trivia. One standout feature is its ability to handle extremely long context windows, up to 128,000 tokens, equivalent to the length of a full book. This makes it ideal for working with lengthy documents while maintaining continuity over many pages. Under the hood, Llama 3.3 employs advanced techniques like Group the Query Attention or GQA, which optimizes memory usage and speed up interference, the process of generating responses. GQA enhances scalability and cuts operational costs, making the model more affordable for developers. Meta claims that Llama 3.3 can generate text for as little as $0.1 per million tokens, significantly undercutting competitors like GPT-4 or Claude 3.5 in cost. Llama 3.3 offers substantial hardware savings compared to Meta's earlier 405 billion parameter model. While the older model required nearly 2 terabytes of GPU memory for interference, Llama 3.3 can operate with just tens of gigabytes. This dramatic reduction in GPU GPU load can save developers significant costs, potentially cutting upfront GPU expenses from something like $600,000 to a far more affordable level. The smaller memory footprint also leads to ongoing power savings, making it a practical choice for a wide range of applications. For developers and researchers, Llama 3.3 is mostly free and open source under a community license. However, there are conditions. Organizations with over 700 million monthly active users need commercial license from Meta. Additionally, users must credit Meta like for example, built with Llama in adhere to an acceptable use policy that prohibits harmful content, cyber attacks, or illegal activities. These guardrails help ensure responsible use of the model. Meta has prioritized safety in alignment in Llama 3.3. The model incorporates supervised fine-tuning or SFT and reinforcement learning with human feedback or RLHF to align it with safety and healthfulness standards. Built-in safeguards like Llama Guard 3 and Prompt Guard prevent harmful outputs, 
while extensive red teaming tests where security experts attempt to exploit the model, identify and address vulnerabilities. This commitment to trust and safety underscores Meta's effort to balance open access with responsible deployment. Meta has taken significant measures to mitigate the risks associated with Lama 3.3, addressing issues like child safety and the potential for enabling cyber attacks. They've also incorporated environmental considerations into the model's development. Training Lama 3.3 required 39.3 million GPU hours on each 180GB hardware, generating approximately 11,300 tons of CO2 equivalent emissions. To offset this, Meta claims they've used renewable energy achieving net zero emissions for the training phase. By openly sharing these metrics, Meta hopes to raise awareness of the environmental costs tied to large-scale AI models. Performance-wise, Lama 3.3 stands out as one of the most capable models of its size. It scores 86% of the MMU benchmark, which evaluates knowledge across various subjects, and 77% on math, showcasing its strengths in mathematical reasoning. For coding tasks like human level, it achieves a pass rate of 88.4% and it handles multilingual reasoning exceptionally well, scoring 91.1% on MGSM. While it doesn't consistently outperform larger models like GPT-4, its performances comes remarkably close in many areas, making it a highly competitive option. The model is widely accessible through Meta's website, Hugging Face, GitHub, and other platforms, enabling developers to easily experiment with it. It integrates seamlessly with tools like Langchain, Weights and Biases, and major cloud services such as AWS, GCP, and Azure. Additionally, developers can fine-tune it using Meta's TorchTune library, making it suitable for a wide range of applications, from natural language understanding to coding support and even future virtual reality or VR experiences. Meta places a strong emphasis on safety and accountability, providing tools like Prompt Guard and Code Shield to help developers avoid harmful outputs or insecure code. These measures are part of a broader strategy to ensure that Lama 3.3 is used responsibly. Developers are expected to take responsibility for their implementations, particularly when integrating the model into applications that interact with external services. Meta safety protocols are designed to prevent misuse while enabling innovation. The company is also making significant strides in VR, including the development of risk-based electromyography or SEMG devices that interpret muscle signals to control virtual objects. These advancements underline Meta's vision of blending AI and VR technologies to create the foundation for the next era of computing. By integrating Lama 3.3 into this broader ecosystem, Meta aims to create seamless interactions between AI-powered tools and immersive virtual virtual environments. Ultimately, Lama 3.3 represents a cheaper and more efficient alternative to some of the leading closed source models, providing developers with a powerful and flexible tool set. Its success will depend on how it's utilized by developers, the application they build, and how end users engage with those solutions. Meta's combination of AI, VR, and developer-focused resources position them as a major player in the evolution of digital technologies. The coming years will reveal whether Lama 3.3 becomes a cornerstone for future AI and VR innovation.